Oh, God. Okay, so. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this abomination. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for it. I, let's call it g Gloobly. Gloobly. Gloobly, the. The, the globulator. Gloobly, the globulator, yep. Uh, Throw I, it up. Yeah! Is that. Wait. You did it! Oh, that's how you open doors. You just smash the light. Obvious! I really feel awful for this thing. It's yep. just, it's a massive ball of probably human suffering. That would be a good bet. To say that it's that. Alright, let's uh, put this thing on fire. Ease. Including us. Yep. That definitely must uh, hurt. Those are gonna... Oh, yeah. come on. You're gonna need to be smart smarts. How am I gonna be smart smarts with Glob Glob? <laughs> You're gonna need to throw it up <coughs> over the sprinkler system and catch it on the other side. Oh! Yeah, smart Glob Glob! Look at all those people watching, they're like, shit. Wow, this thing is more intelligent than we thought it was. Like, look at this. <laughs> you just think it's just like a monster just rampaging, but then it's like doing all these smart, intelligent things. It's like, oh, we're so fucked. It's, <laughs> intel it's, it's not only a giant, unstoppable glob, it's also intelligent. Like, that's when you know you're when you're fucked. And there the alarms go, finally! Yeah, because... A little late, guys! I mean, why would you even have a vent open with gas? Seems like an odd choice there. Or just a warning, maybe. Oh god, the suffering sounds are so bad. I know, it's awful. Oh god, this poor fucking miserable creature. Alright. Hi, guys. Would you, uh, care to open so I can get out of here? Maybe? You're holding something, so you're clearly... Maybe I just have to throw something at you. There, yeah. Oh, I know what I need to do. I oh, like, they're like, just get this fucking thing out of here. <laughs> yeah, I do wonder. Ah, oh, there's the uh, all running in the background. It's yeah. kind of interesting to see now, like, all of these people. They're clearly up to no good. Oh, of course. They're doing awful shit. Oh, wait a second. Maybe. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, just hold on to this. <coughs> This will be fine. Uh, uh, oh, this is gonna be good. Hi, guys. Uh, Are you not alarmed by this? Yeah, they seem unfazed, don't they? They seem very unfazed. <laughs> yeah, very unfazed. I yeah, would have I just taken and, and I would have run at this point. I don't know what they were waiting there for. Not sure. They might have just held the gate closed or something. I don't know why. No goddamn clue. I mean, and they're I, still. And I, and I oh, damn it. And I'm complaining in the morning when I can barely get out of bed sometimes because my back hurts. And then you see this poor thing. It's, yeah. I mean, I wonder if it has a spine. It might have s several spines. It's got spinal injuries. Oh yeah, I mean it's got a lot of injuries, certainly. So many legs. I mean, if I was this, I would probably just throw myself into like a pit of fire. Oh. Okay. That's fairly straightforward. You're gonna need it charged up though. But you can't do that. Huh. Oh, he tells me give it to me. Okay. Why are they working with me? That's the that's the thing that I don't understand. I think they just want you out. That is the thing that I like they even might want me out, but then again. Wait, why did that not hit it? I don't know. That should have hit it, shouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it seemed like it. Must have been a bug. Maybe. Oh, I think it didn't hit it it straight on. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, you would assume that, uh, you know, if it's a monster, they don't just want to let it go. They would want to get rid of it. Or kill it. There oh, they, they might know that oh, they... Oh, it's time. Uh, mm. They might know that they can't kill it. So maybe, maybe they're just... Or not everyone is evil here. Maybe. Hmm. Who am I kidding? They're there all evil. There you go. They're all evil. 
Oh, hi. Oh. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's just, uh, peeps. Oh, there's just a box on a string. Not suspicious. Not suspicious. I want it. I want the box. Give me the box. Oh, God. It's so, oh, it's so gross. It's a tarp. Oh, no. They tarped me. That's why they wanted me in there. Oh, no. That's why they were helping you. They wanted to trap you. Oh, no. They led you straight towards a tarp. Oh no. Oh no. They were evil. But those panels sure look breakable. Oh, those panels. <laughs> that's that's a shitty trap, I guess. That's a shitty trap for you. I'm not so happy anymore. I will not I will kill you now every chance I get. Yeah, screw you. <laughs> mm -hmm. God, I must suck for them right now. Like out there it's like, oh, Fuck, 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 fuck. Come on. I like how they... Here's the weird thing, that they had, like... They had this arena, like, <sighs> ready for your escape. They probably you know? assumed that something like this could happen. Yeah. And that people were just sitting there, waiting. Like... It's like that they put the all call out. They're like, the fucking blob escaped. Everybody yep. to the arena. I think there's panels to the right that'll oh, yeah. come off. You know, so it's just like, everybody to the arena. The blob's out, and they're just ah. like, this again. And they all just sit there and wait for it to come by. <laughs> oh, it's, we have a blob situation. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah, if you give something like a million arms and super strength, mm, <laughs> not. Yeah, this is kind of their problem. Oh, we're out. Sweet. Well, let's eat some humans. We need more body parts to assimilate. Yeah, this the thing got pretty strong once it ate the kid. I, did you think that the kid was it that made the difference? I mean, why didn't it break out well, before? It maybe couldn't because we pulled like a few of the things off. And then that might have been all it needed. Yeah, those things were controlling it or neutralizing it more likely. All right, then. This is so lovely. Mm. God, this poor fucking... This is my favorite new character. Can I get an action figurine of this? A, uh, a movable action figurine. How? I, it's just basically... It's just Nickelodeon goo with, like, arms stuck in it. That's that's my idea of, of a good time. Oh, oh no. no! That was to be expected. Yes. Wait. Can I just ram into this, or...? Pull it. Maybe you have to go a little further. Yeah, just get some some momentum going and then roll down and hey. I think probably not all the time. Oh god, all the sounds. Yeah, the sounds are really disturbing. Freedom. <laughs> I mean, oh. freedom. I mean, I mean, you know. Sweet, awful, agonizing freedom. Painful freedom. All oh. the bones are broken. Yay. Well, oh, sunlight and death. This is dead. It is dead. It's still moving. I mean, it's just a little goopy right now. Come on, glooby gloop. Glo the gloopster. There's movement. It's not dead. Yet. Because I can't control it anymore. Maybe it's just unconscious. Ah, it's just a little banged up. Yeah, it should be fine. I mean, all the shit that happened before, that 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 should do the trick. He's totally fine. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, apart from the fact where he's a weird genetic mutated creature, he he's to to totally fine. He's just chilling in the sun. He's like basically a big big seal with human legs and nothing like a seal, but other than that, basically a seal. R R R Good times, good times. Um, that was a thing. That, that was, a, that was a, a thing. A gloobly boobly thing. Um, that went in directions that I didn't expect it to go. And um, it was highly disturbing, which I appreciate. Yeah. And I think that's all I gotta say. I mean, that's uh maybe the secret ending would explain things to me. I don't think it'll explain a lot to to you yet. You're still going to be confused, but we could watch it and then we could discuss what I think the game means. 
Sure, if you want to do that. And um, Would you like to do that? Sure. Wait, isn't that fairly early on? Yes, it is early on. So you get the... So, uh, yeah, this is a... Uh, we'll, we'll put credit in the description um, to mm -hmm. whoever's video this is. Um, but once, uh, once you've unlocked all of the secret orbs um, that we were finding throughout the game, you get um, the secret ending when you go back to the very beginning of the game at the cornfield. Um, and remember that creepy radio that we were listening to? Yeah. Um, and I said you were going to need to yeah. memorize the song to be able to unlock the secret ending so that you could play it back. Oh, that's gotcha. What, that's what this is playing now. Um, and, um, it will unlock this tunnel here. Um, I mean... I mean, to a degree, I guess it's, it is an alternate ending if this is an ending too. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, but you can only get it basically new game plus because you have to unlock all of those secret orbs. Yeah. So you can't get this the first time you play the game. Gotcha. You can only get it the second time you play the game. So I, it, I wouldn't call it an alternate ending is an ending that you can get instead of the game's real ending. Yeah. But this is a secret ending. Gotcha. Because you have to get it after you get the game's original ending. Okay, so we got an underground base. Yeah. And this is by the cornfield, which is at the very beginning of the game, so it's way away from... Yeah. Um, Everything. Yeah. So... That is the whole thing, but what's interesting about that is, uh, here's the theory that everybody has about this game. Um, first of all, I'll put a clip in real quick. Remember the part where you fell on the terrarium yeah. and I pointed it out? Yeah. I'll put in a clip of this. If you look at that terrarium, that terrarium is a replica of the spot where you land in the end with the sunshine. Yeah. So, the escape of the blob was completely planned out. Oh. So, this is clearly something that happens over and over and was anticipated. Huh. Um, but the theory that everybody has is that you are... The the blob thing is everybody calls the hive mind. And the theory is that you are actually playing as the hive mind the whole time. And the hive mind is controlling the kid and bringing the kid to it. Oh. And the secret ending, when the kid goes and unplugs... The, and unplugs those cables, and then you notice the way that after the kid unplugs the cables, he assumes that, like, yoga position, yes. where he becomes just a drone that's not being yeah. controlled. Oh. That's because the hive mind has decided that the only way he can win is not to play, so he shuts the kid's power off um, because he realizes that Basically, he's only going to be in this perpetual loop of escaping and being caught again. So the the only way he can win is just to give up. So huh. he shuts the kid's power off. That um, is a very. But there's also a very meta theory in that in yeah, the yeah that what you, that you said was just a theory. I mean yeah, well it's all theories because there's no story to the game. But there's also another very meta theory, which is that. Um, the hive mind controls the kid, uh, you control the hive mind, and the game controls you. Because, <laughs> no, really, because you're going forward in the game and you don't know why. <laughs> I guess, yeah. But there's, uh, you know, people were saying that in the, um, in the secret ending, you see all those screens in the background that are connected to one of those mind control helmets. Yeah. Um, and when... The kid unplugs the power. The game shuts off and goes back to the main menu because the hive mind unplugged your control of the game. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. I mean that so would work too. That gets really meta. So people were thinking that those those screens represent you, meaning that the hive mind unplugs your control of it. They clearly had fun with this. Oh yeah. No. That that shit gets really um. Meta. Really meta there. I mean, nobody knows what it really means, obviously, because it's all just theories because there's no real story. I mean, obviously, there's a story on some level where it was like there was a, uh, you know, some kind of 
apocalyptic crisis that left people uh, that just left them with a shortage of workers so they needed to create more but like those are all just assumptions yeah those are all just assumptions the whole thing is assumptions but I think one of the most interesting scenes in the game was when you collapse onto that terrarium and you see that it's a perfect replica of the scene that you end up on in the end. I actually didn't notice that. You don't notice it the first time you play. That's one of those things that you see later and you're like, oh, the light is even in the same spot. That sunlight that you end up oh. in in the end. The It's all the exactly replicated in that terrarium that you fall on. Huh. Um, because it was all planned. The your escape was completely planned. Weird. Yep. Well, that was certainly interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, you don't have any input. I don't have any input. You just like gave me a million things to consider. Plus, I haven't even digested the game yet. <laughs> and it's like, so what's your input on these five million really convoluted? theories and mine's just like my brain is so overloaded yeah, you're, right you're, now you're still trying to deal with the fact that you just turned into a giant yeah. fleshy meatball no with for me for me it is like the game was fun and oh that was wheatley for yes. me the game was fun it was very enjoyable and i had this really like these ah moments which are just <laughs> great but i do not have theories i'm usually also not someone who meddles a lot in theories and who needs the explanation for me this was like a fun experience and this was a game that I think you you got to talk a little bit of oh, theory Oh, no, of course. But because I, it's it's very interesting. Definitely. It's just right now you had months to think about this. Yes. You had stuff to read about this. I just finished this. I gotcha. have no idea what to think about this. For example, hive mind is the first time I'm hearing the term hive mind. I haven't even considered that. That's okay. I mean, I didn't want to call it a hive mind during the game because that could have been spoilery. For I, I personally thought those were just kind of like zombies that are, and they, the the people came up with mind control ways, like you know, machines uh, to control them. But honestly, I have no idea. I think that the the big blobby hive mind was part of how they controlled minds was through that what do you think comments that's your name comments you Hi, you, comments. you are comments comments mcjones <laughs> comments mcjones you all right he doesn't look all right no i th i think that broke him ah <laughs> uh. All right, that was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching the series. Uh, as Lauren said, leave your uh, interpretations in the comments below. You probably have a lot of thoughts given that this game has been out for a while. And I just got to play it, so I just have to think through all of this first. Uh, in any case, thanks so much. I'm Weasel. Thanks I'm for, Lauren. Thanks for Weasel Wife, or Lauren, as she likes to be called sometimes to be here. <laughs> as I like to be called sometimes. Sometimes she likes to be called Lauren, but most of the time we just call her Weasel Wife. Like, you know, when we talk to each other, she just, it's 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 on her ID card. It's, it is. It's actually, it's, it's on my it's driver's Weasel license. Wife. It's Lauren, actually. Oh, I thought it's Weasel Wife. Uh-huh. <laughs> Can you edit this up, like, so it sounds a little bit less that I'm a fucking idiot? <laughs> That, that'd be nice. At this point, it sounds like a podcast, and I'm not sure what I'm going to put in the background for the video. Just Mars chasing bubbles. Mm -hmm. <laughs>